What's happening, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. Happy Cinco de Mayo, and what a Cinco de Mayo it is. We've got a team on a five-game win streak, another team with five players getting awards. So, yeah, a lot to celebrate. Plus, one player coming back for another year. We'll be celebrating that. Let's go. BYU baseball took down UVU 11-4 last night to put them on a five-game winning streak. Like I said, five straight wins on Cinco de Mayo, it only makes sense. Not to mention WCC Player of the Week, Cole Gamble had three RBIs and a run. This game extended his hit streak to 10 straight games. Good luck to Cole and the rest of the team as they head to California to take on WCC leader San Diego in a three-game series. Our Batcats aren't the only ones getting a dub. BYU softball shut out SUU 9-0 on the road last night. 9-2. Nothing. I think it's safe to say that the force was strong with the girls on May 4th. I just couldn't help myself. I had to include a little Star Wars in this episode. Moving on, because things just wouldn't be right if we didn't find some way to fit a little bit of football in here. It has been so great to see so many of our guys headed to the NFL, including, of course, Zach Wilson and thanks to the one and the only Lisa Wilson we know that Zach left for New York today. This means we obviously have to be some of the first ones to welcome Zach to the Big Apple. I'm in a New York state of mind. Those songs are going to be stuck in my head all day. Now let's get to some of our athletes still here at BYU. There must be some good juju going around campus because it is a real good time to be a coop. The Batcats and softball are dominating. Our number two pick is thriving. Oh, and men's volleyball is breaking some records. Shocker. That's right. With the release of the 2021 AVCA All-American Awards, our Cougs are making history with five BYU players showing up on the list. Gabby Garcia, Fernandez, Davide, Gardini, and Will Stanley all earned themselves first-team honors, while Felipe J. Brito Fajeda and Zach Eschenberg earned themselves honorable mention. But the good news for men's volleyball doesn't stop there. Are you guys ready for this? Are you sitting down? You might want to sit down because Davide Gardini is staying for one more year. One more time, I wanna celebrate. Oh, yeah. No, your ears do not deceive you. Davide Gardini is staying for the 2022 season, and I am hyped. Let me remind you why. Davide averaged a 340 hitting percentage, led the team in digs with 118, and was the only BYU player to have three double doubles this season. I can't wait to see what Davide does next season, but actually I can't wait to see what him and the rest of the team do tomorrow night versus Lewis in the NCAA semifinals. We know that the team traveled to Ohio earlier this week. They've gotten some good practice in. I'm sure they're having a lot of fun on the volleyball court, but we know they're having a lot of fun on the basketball court. Like I said, a whole lot of fun. Hopefully our Cougs have a lot of fun tomorrow night versus the Flyers. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. You know what to do. Follow us if you aren't already following us. And I'll see you guys next time. Time for me to head out. <laughs> Not to New York, guys. I wish. I'm just headed out of studio. See ya.